Hello YouTubers, I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing great. As usual, it's that beautiful summer day here in California. We are getting ready to get into the 4th of July weekend here in the United States. So if you are celebrating the 4th of July, have a safe weekend, but have a fun weekend. And uh, for those of you who don't celebrate the 4th of July, especially those in other countries, uh, you have a fantastic weekend and you guys be safe too. Um, do something fun with somebody because I read something the other day and it said uh, happiness not shared is not happiness. So get out there and share your weekend with uh, somebody you love. And you know what the song says? If you can't be with the one you love, <laughs> love the one you're with. Um, Anyhow, I got a good one for you. Um, we are going to talk about DVDs. And um, are they worth collecting? Are they worth picking up when you come across them? You know, whether it be used or whether it be new. Um, so before we dig into it, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. It helps the channel to grow. Shows me that you're liking the content. And uh, I just love interacting with you guys. There's a lot of you guys just leave some, some awesome comments and uh, you know what, it, it, it goes back into that happiness uh, shared thing. So thank you so much. Um, so let's get into it. So uh, DVDs, and I took some notes here. So if I, my eyes go off a little bit, it's because I'm, I wanna make sure I give you guys my uh, complete thoughts on the subject. So, um, you know, I'm gonna touch base on music uh, DVDs because basically um, you know I basically talk a lot about music and music equipment and um, so let's talk about the music DVDs first and I'll touch base on the other ones but anyhow um, I like the music DVDs and when I come across them you know I will buy them and I will share a few of them that I have I have some more uh, music DVDs uh, DVDs that are concerts, that are movies. Um, I love watching the movies because it kind of gives you a little bit of an insight uh, to the band. It tells a little bit of their story. Um, and uh, it just helps you to appreciate their music a little more. Let's say it brings you a little bit closer to the artist. And uh, so I, I like watching those movies. Like two recent ones that were really good were uh, Queen, um, Rocket Man. Um, with Elton John and then Motley Crue did one it was kind of dirty so it was definitely an R-rated movie but uh, you know it was it was their story and that was called The Dirt and so um, those I don't own those because I watched them at on the big screen or I streamed them on a platform um, so that's something to consider when you're thinking about DVDs right um, you know with with uh, Netflix Amazon uh, all uh, Paramount, HBO Max, you could easily just stream these, but, um, and sometimes they will just let you uh, pay to watch them online. Um, so, you know, that's an option. And if you don't have the space in your home, because like me, I collect vinyl, I collect reel to reel, um, I have some cassettes, I have a lot of CDs. And so, you know, if you start collecting too much media stuff, it can definitely absorb your space like that. And so um, that's why the streaming is, 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 is a good option. And I do have some subscriptions and I do watch a lot of movies online. And also, I just love going to the movies. I go to the movies once a week. Um, I'm actually gonna just buy a subscription. They have this thing here in the States where you pay uh, 20 bucks. And you can see three movies a week. And um, so that's what I'm going to do. My son has one. And uh, it's this theater where you just go and you're sitting. They're recliners, literal recliners with trays where you can set your food and stuff. So, And it's 20 bucks a month. So I think I'm just going to buy one of those. Um, but back to the DVDs. When I do come across some unique ones, I pick them up. Because you can't always find those on... Uh, streaming platforms and so um like i just bought uh i actually bought this one new on ebay but it was only like six bucks shipped and it was the way we were with uh robert redford and uh, barbara streisand 
great movie. I remember just seeing it up on the big screen. I did. I never went, saw it when I was little, but I, I, I always uh, saw it when my uncle would take us down to uh, Hollywood, and we would go down there on Sunset Strip by the Chinese Theater and see um, all these different movies. And that was one that was a big movie at the time. Anyhow, um, so I, I do buy them. And as you can see back here, I have quite a few of them. I have more upstairs uh, in my bedroom. So I do buy them, but I, I buy them very sparingly. And I mainly keep them to have uh, when people are over. And so just like my vinyl, uh, I'll, I'll let people pick out an album they want to hear. Or if it comes to a movie, I'll let them pick out a movie and we'll just watch the movie. So um, they're good to have for that. And, and also, the prices are just crazy. Uh, you know, I picked up uh, two DVDs at a yard sale last week, uh, 50 cents a piece. And one of them was brand new. So um, anyhow, let me show you some of the, 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 uh, the DVDs that I have. And, uh, you know, let me know what you think. Um, and let me know what movies you guys are watching. And let me know what some of your favorite uh, music DVDs are. Um, I'm going to share with you some of my favorites. And uh, let me know what you think. So this is the Motown 25. Um, this was the 25th anniversary. It was just loaded with uh, lots of artists. It was the first time people got to see Michael Jackson moonwalk. And it was on TV. And it was just the craziest thing, man. Everybody was talking about it. And Michael Jackson was a big star already, you know, with the Jackson 5. And he had just done uh, the wall or off the wall. And so he, he was already big, but this thing catapulted him into superstardom. And so it was just a, a great uh, box set that I came across at a flea market. And I'm happy to have it. Here's one of the ones I picked up for 50 cents. Uh, the Volunteer Jam. Uh, starring the Charlie Daniels band. Not a big country guy, but I do dig me some Charlie Daniels. Here's one that I have a couple of, and it is Queen, live at Wembley Stadium. It's on my bucket list to go see a uh, concert there one day because everybody seems to be having such a good time whenever I go there. And um, Freddie Mercury just, oh man. He, he just had such great uh, command over his audience and just what a great showman. And so uh, I have a couple of them. Here's another one that I picked up at a, and, and these are ones you just don't see everywhere. And um, Red Hot Chili Peppers live at Slane Castle. And so, you know, speaking of uh, DVDs you don't see everywhere that maybe don't get a lot of publicity, there are so many good... Uh, DVDs that are documentary or uh, yeah documentaries that you can stream um, I've seen good ones on like Leonard Skinner uh, I seen I watched another good one um, Sid and Nancy and um, so those are I just really enjoy uh, music and I love uh, just hearing the backgrounds of these guys and their story and um, it uh, it just makes you enjoy the music a little bit more Feels, gives you a little bit more of a uh, connection with the artist. So I just love, you know, watching the DVDs and also the documentaries. Here's another great one. Led Zeppelin, song remains the same. Um, you know, when I was younger, not, not embarrassed to say it, we would uh, drink a beer and smoke a little bit of the illegal stuff. It's not illegal anymore. Uh, smoke a little pot and go see these guys at midnight. Um, cause that's when they played at midnight, just like the Rocky Horror Picture Show. You'd have to, you had to go see it at midnight, but it was just a great time. And, uh, this is just a great video. Um, just love Jimmy Page. For me, he's my all time favorite guitarist. And, uh, you know, I know people can argue, you know, Eric Clapton, Jeff Beck, uh, BB King. Um, there are just so many, uh, great guitarists out there, but Jimmy Page is my favorite. Um, Song remains the same. Here's another one. The Night James Brown Saved Boston. And again, these are just those that you just don't see everywhere. So when I see them, I pick them up. Uh, Queen, We Will Rock You. Um, 
this was just a great live performance and you know what more can i say about freddie mercury that has not uh already been said but um you know you got roger taylor brian may john deacon um just a, four great guys man and and um just happy to have that one check this one out live aid i don't know if you guys remember this but this was on july 13th 1985 and it was done i believe in the uk and um Wembley stadium and uh jfk stadium in philadelphia but it had so many different artists man um let me, let's see who we got here david bowie bob dylan queen paul mccartney madonna Tenders, Tom Petty, B.B. Uh, King, Duran Duran, uh, Spandau Ballet, Teddy Pendergrass, Judas Priest, uh, uh, who else we got? Nile Rodgers. Oh, man, I love Nile Rodgers. Anyhow, just a great DVD. It's, it's uh, four DVDs, and uh, this one just takes me back. Okay, we got a Beyonce live. Um, you know what? A lady just gave this to me at a at a yard sale. Um, but yeah, I like Beyonce. I have some of her vinyl and there you go. Here's one I totally enjoy. The Rolling Stones, Four Licks. I saw these guys live. I'd say they were the best concert I ever saw. Um, and uh, Guns N' Roses opened for them. And it was just a great show at the Coliseum here in L.A., um, but anyhow, like I said, my son gave me this for Christmas. Great life performance of the Rolling Stone. And that's another reason why you might buy some of these live performance DVDs because concerts are like through the roof now. Like I looked up this concert they're having on the beach here with like 1080s bands. Uh, it's called Dark Wave or something like that. And just the charge the processing charge for the ticket was $70 per ticket. So you're paying $150 just for the processing charge. And then they had like another $14 just to be on the list to get you a ticket. So 90 bucks before you even get to the ticket. Crazy. So that's why, you know, DVDs, um, the live performances are good um, because you can, you can watch them and probably get a better view than you would in, in the concert, right? Okay. Here's another band, and I just love this DVD if you get a chance to, uh, to see it. Social Distortion, live in Orange County. They are a Southern California gem. I, actually, I absolutely love these guys, and um, they are uh, just one of my faves. So there you have it on the music DVDs. Here's some of the movies I have really quick. Rock of Ages with Tom Cruise, The Doors. Val Kilmer, Pink Floyd, The Wall, The Temptations, Cinderella, Chicago, The Musical. Uh, this is Tony Orlando and Don. Um, I saw him in, in Vegas, man, and I, I like that guy. Uh, I grew up watching him on TV. Prince, Popo Rain, Rocky Horror Picture Show, Grease, everybody's seen that one. Here's a two movie set. The Buddy Holly Story and La Bamba with, about Richie Valens. Ray and Walk the Line. So... Those are just some of the movies I have, guys. I have regular movies. Um, you know, like I said, you know, with the streaming platforms out there, that's your call whether you buy them. I gave you my reasons for having them, shared with you some of my favorites. Um, but that's all I have. Let me know what you guys are watching on uh, the big screen or on DVDs, or if you even think it's worth to collect DVDs. But that's all I have for you guys today. As always, how do I leave you before I say like and subscribe? I always leave you this way. God bless you.